Sziasztok! Jó napot kívánok! I am Frederick Cornelius and uh, we have recently moved to this wonderful town of Seged. In Seged there is about uh, 160,000 inhabitants. So it's actually a pretty big city compared to where we come from in Denmark. But also a very small city compared to other European cities. It's not the capital, but it's the capital of the Jungla Junat Med. So one of the great things about Seged is that you can nearly dine and uh, drink coffee and beer and everything everywhere for very little money. And uh, we will try out a cafe here on the uh, Saint Istvan uh, called the Saint Cafe, one of my favorite places. And you can get coffee, you can get uh, different uh, desserts and uh, breakfast for nearly nothing. It's very cheap. Of course, it's cheap to live here and that's, that's a fairly good thing because uh, I'm a musician and my girlfriend, she's a photographer. And uh, it's not always that you make a lot of money in these uh, kind of works. So, for example, you can get a good cappuccino for around 1.5 euros, which is pretty cheap compared to uh, Western Europe. Uh, also, you can get a little Turkish torta for the same amount of money. It's pretty cheap. Yeah, we moved here not so long ago, actually, on the 1st of August, um, to get away from what we were used to, the perfectness culture and all this stuff that happening, especially in Denmark. And uh, this has definitely been a great time already, only three months in, and we have experienced so many different stuff. One of the biggest challenges coming from Denmark to, uh, to Hungary, moving abroad, if you can call that. It's that you are far away from your family, your old friends and everything. But uh, we are so lucky that we have the internet and FaceTime. And uh, you can always meet new people here. Another challenge is also that the bureaucracy in Hungary is extreme. To even get our residence permit, we had to wait for like three months. It was a pain in the ass just to get a little card. But anyway, um, there are so many pros of coming here to Hungary. The nature, everything is just wonderful. Through Seged, the Tisza river runs. It's uh, not the biggest river in Hungary, that's the Dan Danube, but it's one of the biggest. And uh, back in 1879, there was the flooding of Seged, which caused half of the city to be totally um, abolished, and people have to move over there. What you today call Új Seged, New Seged. So this is Old Seged, and there's New Seged. It's like Budapest on a cheap. In Hungary, you appreciate real books more than uh, we do back in Denmark. So you have these uh, pocket uh, vending machines where you can get a book. It's fairly cheap. It's about uh, 30 kroners. And um, you have all the big famous Hungarian authors like... You live inside history. So everywhere you walk, there's history, there are old buildings, very beautiful. Here's a church, uh, the Dome Church, and it's uh, absolutely gorgeous. To end off this video, we thought, why not uh, get some uh, pizza uh, slices and uh, the Hungarian traditional drink, the uh, Kisfroch. Well, just a fruit, which is a white wine with uh, some soda in it, sparkling water. Um, so, for, before we doing that, uh, I would like to say thanks for watching. 
the future will behold a lot of new stuff. We will be doing a podcast series together with a magazine here in Seged called uh, Segedify and a cafe called Essentiale where we bring in some expats, some international students and talk about their daily life here in Hungary in Seged. Also we are starting a new series where we will be focusing on all the small histories and stories behind uh, Seged and all the Hungarian towns, um, also with the focus of food and culture and music. But um, yeah, a lot of new stuff is going on, so um, please stay around and subscribe to the channel to be uh, up to date with everything. Thank you,